Hi guys, it's Jenna and welcome back to our channel. Today I am back at it with another baby haul. And today's baby haul is going to be like 99% vintage baby clothes. I am really lucky. My mom saved a ton of our baby clothes from when we were little. And so we have a lot of cute clothes that come from the 90s. I was like born in the early 90s. So, <laughs> so I'm a little 90s baby and so all of these clothes are 90s clothes. and. Um, honestly, mostly formal things. She didn't really save like all the random jumpers because she probably didn't know how cute they would be now. But she did save like all of our dresses and fun things like that. I can't believe she saved them this long, um, but I am so grateful that she did. And I'm so excited to show them to you guys because I, let's be honest, I'm obsessing over them. So I'm just gonna start. The first thing that I got is, well, I'm talking like I bought these things. No, these things were saved. They were given to me. And the fun thing is that I have pictures of me wearing them and then my daughter's gonna be wearing them. So that's really fun for me. Um, the first dress is this little lace dress and it is so cute. I, I, I need to stop right now. Everything is so cute. I'm not gonna say it again. Just know I'm thinking it. Um, it has this ribbon that ties around in the back and it's just all lace and like how sweet is that? The next dress is really similar, and this is actually like for a four-year-old. So my mom saved it, I have to save it for four more years, but I do have a lot of pictures of me wearing this dress, and it is really cute. It's like velvet, and then it has little roses on it, and again with the lace, like I think lace must have been a big thing. I mean, it's always a big thing, I guess. This dress is also really cute. <laughs> Um, but it's pink and it's like this fresh light cottony material and then it has a lace like underlining and again with the lace on the top. Alright, this next dress is actually really special. Um, <clears throat> in our church we like to bless babies when they are just born, like a, a few months, whenever you want really. And so this dress is the dress that I wore when I was blessed and now my daughter is going to wear it and it's beautiful. It's like silky and it's really really long and that's just kind of... How they are like this is not gonna fit the baby it's just gonna like be you know you know what I'm talking about and again with the lace on the bottom and lace and pearls on the top one of my aunts made this dress and so it's like extra special because it was handmade and yeah I'm really excited and hopefully maybe someday my daughter will pass it on to her daughter we'll see this is actually really cute this actually goes with the blessing dress and it's like a slip to wear underneath and it's just like a slip. It's just cute because it's like baby size. I don't know. And I just keep finding more. And these are little booties that my aunt made to go with the dress. So they're just little like satin silky shoes with like pearls on them. Really cute. Okay, then I got a couple of these dresses. And these must have been like popular then um, because like we had a lot of them. But they're basically like dresses and then they have like an overlaying dress that goes over them and I think it's called like a bib, but it's like, they go together, you don't wear them separately. I could totally see myself putting them on her separately, but I do think they're really cute, and they just have like that vintage, like little embroidery, and I don't know, just really cute, like, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> and again, another one of those, and I actually remember playing with these dresses when I was little, like I'd put them on my dolls and stuff, and so I'm surprised that my mom still has them because like I've played with them, They've been worn through me and my sister, and yeah, I'm just really excited. This one has a really pretty like rose pattern, and then again with little details that I just think are really special. <laughs> this dress is another one of the like four-year-old dresses, but I really think it's cute and it's worth saving. Again, I don't know, my daughter's probably gonna hate me, but she's gonna wear vintage clothes, so whatever. <laughs> um, this dress, I really love this. I think, what is this called? Like, pin? Pin, I can't think of it like pin tucking or pin steering or something but it's like really really cute and it has like just this like sewn on type bib and it's just floral I just think it's beautiful and oh my gosh I just want I just want to put them on her now this was one cute little like jumper that my mom saved and it's like screaming 90s to me and I just love that and I think you can buy a lot of clothes that are similar to this style now but the fact that they were like mine when I was little make them more special to me I guess but how cute and then this is another one just like a simple jumper and they have funny like like the way they made clothes was was different like they did funny things like where they put snaps and the weird things like that that have changed since that now but they have like snaps like on the chest maybe so you can pull over their shoulders if they have like a blowout diaper or something 
but it is really cute. And then this is a little apron actually that my grandma made. And so it's extra sentimental or extra special. Like, I don't know what kind of size baby wears an apron like to help you cook because this is a little baby, but it is so cute. Well, I can't put it on. It's really cute. And I guess it's just really sentimental to me because my grandma made it. And she definitely put little details on it to have it be extra special with the lace. And I actually think she made herself a matching one and that makes it really cute. She probably actually made this for one of my dolls, not for like a person, but it's gonna work for a person. So that is the majority of my vintage clothes. And then I just wanted to share with you some of the things that a few people have bought me since like finding out that I'm pregnant. And um, I, I just really love them, so I'm gonna share them with you. And I have a few more hauls coming up because there's like baby gear that I wanna talk about, but I'm still collecting some of it. And then obviously like I'm gonna have a baby shower and so maybe if you guys wanna see the kind of things that I get at my baby shower, then I'd love to show that with you, share that with you. But really quick, I'm just gonna show you some of the cute outfits that I've gotten as gifts from like family members and stuff. Um, my mom actually got me this little romper and it's just like that. It's really cute. She got it from The Gap, and I think the pattern is really cute on it. Um, she knows that I like more simple, like, I don't really like graphics on baby clothes, and so she kind of really knows how to buy cute clothes. And the funny thing was, with these clothes, um, she bought them all, like, years ago, just in hopes that I would have a baby girl. And luckily, luckily, I am finally having a baby girl. So... She's lucky, and I'm lucky. <laughs> this dress um, is actually such a beautiful dress. I remember, I actually was with her when we picked this out. This was also from Gap, and we were shopping for someone's baby shower, and I was like, oh my gosh, mom, I love this dress so much, and you have to get it, and she was like, yeah, I'll get it, and then she was like, you know what, I'm gonna save this for you, and, so, and she got her the, other, the girl another present, but I really love this dress. It has like the tulle underlining, and what I really love about this dress is this is like a very Hawaiian print dress. When I was growing up, we had a lot of Hawaiian print dresses. My dad is from Hawaii, and so um, I, when I saw this in Gap, I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like a real Hawaiian dress that you would go and buy at, they have like Moo factories and stuff, like they call them Moo Moo's. And um, so anyways, it was extra like cute to me because it just reminds me so much of um, my Hawaiian heritage, and I love that. The last two things are actually from my sister-in-law and um, my husband is from Peru and so these things touch my heart in a special way. Also, like everything does, I guess this is just a very sentimental video, but um, they go to Peru pretty often to visit family and I have never been, hopefully like sometime soon, um, I would love to take my kids and hopefully we go a lot and they become really familiar with their culture because that's something that's really important to me. Um, but anyways, my sister-in-law last time she, w well not last time, but one time she was in Peru when I was pregnant and um, she picked up some things for me and I ended up having a boy. So she has saved them this whole time and I had no idea she saved them for a long time patiently waiting for me to have a girl so that she could give me these things. So that's a very sentimental to me. Like, just the whole idea was really sweet, but one of them is this little Peruvian doll. I think it's so cute and it's so sweet. I absolutely love the Peruvian culture and I love the textiles and the decor and I'm like, it's so excited to have her like have this doll. Um, another thing she got me is this teddy bear, which is also from Peru and it's actually alpaca fur. So like the camera can't do it justice. This is the fluffiest, softest teddy bear in the whole world. And so it's really, really cool to me. And like alpacas, you know, are a huge part of like Peru. Like I think everyone like relates them to back to Peru. And so I think that's really cool. And I don't know if you can see just like how fluffy it is, but I think this is so beautiful. And I think it was so kind of her to like save it and think of me even when she was there, like not even knowing, you know, if I was gonna have a girl or a boy or whatever. So that's like a lot of the vintage clothes that I have. My sister is actually also pregnant and so she is having a girl also, like pretty much um, like two months right before me. And so we actually split the clothes and so she has half of the vintage clothes and I took half. And so there's a lot more and I was gonna show them to all to you guys, but hers were too hard to get to so I just, I got lazy. Growing up I always knew my mom had them and I just never, pictured actually having a daughter and how special it would be to pass them on to her and so now that I have that opportunity I'm like so excited and I just love that sentimental sentimental things pull up my my heartstrings every time so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that haul and 
Like I said, I have a few more baby things coming up, but other stuff is going to be regular YouTube videos. Um, I'm so grateful for like the love and support and the kind comments that you guys leave. I really love feeling close to you guys and feeling like I'm your friends. There's a lot of you who like comment regularly and are so supportive and you really have no idea how much that means to me because I know we're like a small YouTube channel, but I just love making the videos. And so I'm gonna keep making them and I'd love if you guys can keep following. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.